Hello and welcome to Let's. Uh, you know what? I don't. Even, I don't even want to make this video. I hate this place. It sucks. It's small, claustrophobic. Can't hardly move. Have no room for anything. It's just boring. Uh, if only there was some nice place I could move into. Oh. Yoink. Oh. What is this? For sale? <gasps> I'll be having this, thank you very much. Ooh, and it comes furnished. Yes, hello and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Muck Luckable, in my fancy new but also old house. Yeah, I went and rebuilt it, like I said I would eventually. Uh, didn't take... <laughs> Don't you be blowing up my new house already. Alright, well then just blow up that. That's fine. Well, it's not fine. But hey, I'm used to bad news and bad things happening recently, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. So yes, I have, I've remade this. It's near exact, except for some things. Uh, firstly, it's a little bit wider. No, not wider. Longer. I think it was 11 blocks last time, and now it is 15, so it's a few blocks, and it does make a difference inside. It does feel a little bit better, a little bit more open in here. I like that. Uh, instead of the stairs up, we're going to have just a ladder because it saves space. There we go. Um, still got the beams. The roof is a bit different. Oh, and I added windows. I was supposed to add windows to the one in the last world, but I, I forgot. And they look nice. They make it look a bit like a face. In fact, it looks like it looks like some kind of leopard. I, I don't know, or a skull. Ooh, that's like a mouth there. What have I created? I've created a monster. Anyway, so there's that. Let me quickly do the um, like last episode. Let me get the updates out of the way of what I've done. So here was the uh, the cobble clean stone generator. I've added this. And actually, I turned it off for some reason. Doesn't matter. I added this thing to it. A solar panel. Uh. And it sucks. It really does suck. Annoyingly, unlike in the uh, the previous Feed the Beast mod pack, the solar panels that I used are not in here. Instead we have solar panel, low voltage solar array, medium voltage solar array, and high voltage solar array. And these things are so damn expensive. I don't even know if it's worth it because... Each of these is a generator and two electronic circuits. That's a lot of copper, right? That's a lot of rubber and copper. Don't really care about this stuff, the coal dust and the glass, that's fine. But it's these things. And to make one of these, which is... You can't do anything with this. You can do nothing at all. Nothing. You need one of these. To make this, you need eight of them. What the... Eight generators. Sixteen. Uh... Electronic circuits, it's just, oh, 16 times 12, no, sorry, 6, it just gets ridiculous. And then you need a low voltage transfer, and then, to make an even better one, you need 8 of those. So that means you need 8 times 8, you need 64 to make one of these. Oh. However, that may be a blessing in disguise, I think, because that will uh, force me, really, to uh, research alternate ways of producing energy because let's face it solar panels are a bit lazy and boring you just plonk them there and they're done they start making energy but there are so many different types in this game we can do we can explore other avenues we can do biofuel we can do windmills water mills uh biofuel is the one i'm, I'm most interested in actually uh there's lots i can't actually think of any at the moment but let me just... Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back in just one second for you. Doorbell. Oh, damn doorbells. Why do, what, who invented the doorbell? That's who... That's what I want to know. Anyway. So, yeah, we got that. Now, do you want to hear the bad news, everyone? Do you want to hear the bad news? This world I'm playing in right now is a backup. It's a backup. And that is glitching out. Yes. I had to restore from an older point because the original world it crashed and it died and it burned horribly. 
Now I, I had two gold chests full of, full of it. I mean, look, it's even cut off, it's so big. Full of stuff, good stuff. Sapphires and green sapphires and, and rubies and so many different types of ingots you wouldn't believe. And how did I get all those? Mistcraft. However, Mistcraft is a bitch. It is a great big bitch because uh, I had about I was trying to find dense ores, and as you know, as, I, as I've explained, the way you learn the properties is just by making books and going in them. And then once you've done that, you place them in here. So I had done about 40, 40 books. I'd been to 40 worlds, I'd learned all of their properties, still no dense ores. Dense ores is really, really, really rare. I was getting a bit annoyed, and it was a little bit buggy, just a little bit. But I wasn't too worried. I was thinking, well, they, it can't break on me, surely not. Um, everything will be fine. It'll be just fine. No. No. It wasn't just fine. It crashed. And I, was, I wasn't I was stuck in a world. It wouldn't even load the world. I was in a kind of limbo. I was falling forever. And then it crashed. It said, shutting down, internal error. Um, and then I probably made it worse by trying to go into the data files and altering stuff. That didn't help either. And I think eventually I just... Well, I probably overwrit. Overwrit? Overwritten. What is the past tense of that? Overwrought? <laughs> That's not the point. I replaced my old world with a new, fresh world with nothing in it. Oh, seriously, I'm trying to say something. Let's just make sure the... Yeah, that's good. So yeah, um, and I had so much, I had so many minerals and so many resources, I moved the farms to here, I had a whole basement with lovely marble flooring down in there, it really did make me sad, I'm just, I'm so thankful I made this back up, because if it was any further back than this, I probably wouldn't have carried on, I would have rage quit the game forever, but hey ho, we're here, so let's stop moaning. Oh, oh, well, I should probably end off by saying I probably don't think we're going to touch Mistcraft for a while. Or, if we are, I'm going to back up after every single damn time. Because the really annoying thing was I found a nice stable world. It wasn't dense ores, but it didn't have many harmful effects. Actually, it had none, I don't think. Um, and I just went down, I dig down to level 10, and I just started mining. And I got diamonds, copper, I didn't, I didn't get copper, that's too low for copper, but iron... All the good stuff. And I got loads of it, and, and now that's all gone. I'm very sad. And what is happening with these chests? Yeah, you. Actually, it might have been a really early book. No, I'm not, I'm not going near it. I'm not going near it. We might come back to Mistcraft later down the line, but at the moment... Bleh. So, I have something very special to show you lot. Actually, well, it's not very special. It's actually quite common, but I didn't realise it was here. Um, but before we do that, let's get some good stuff going. Oh, well, I had enchanted picks and everything. Uh, wait a minute, did I make that? I may, I may have made that before. No, no, no. Okay, well, anyway, one of the first things I want to make is... Yeah, well, we need one more piece of obsidian. So let's... Oh, I know what we can do. Wait, have I got a spare bucket? There's that one. What about a spare one? Give me a bucket. There we go. How many, oh, how many diamonds do I have now? I had about 30-odd before the crash. Now I've got six. How sad things are. So, um, yesterday I uploaded the short LP suggestions video, and as of the time of recording, it's got about 34 comments, which is marvellous. Thank you to everybody. Um, I haven't obviously went through the games yet, I was still waiting for some more replies, if there are any, but um, I saw some good answers. I saw some answers that they're not short games at all. They're really... I, I'm sorry, GTA is not a... Oh, that's the wrong way. GTA is not a short game. It's not. I'd love to LP uh, GTA, but 
A, it would be too long. And I'm not very good at the game, which doesn't really help. So yeah, but there are some good calls there, so I'm definitely going to uh, have a look through what you've said. Now oh, please say there's some lava. Yeah. Give me that. It was, yeah, I, I was a bit... I was a bit stuck with that video, and, and I was trying to think of, of stuff I might... I'm really tempted just to do the Time Splitters 2 idea, but then that would mean I'm just ignoring all of you, which is really bad, and I don't want to do that, so... I definitely will do some research. Uh, okay, so now we've got this. We're going to make uh, an obsidian block. We're going to mine it with the block breaker. And we're going to make... We're going to make something that I should have wore... No. Worn. Past tense, please. When I had the jetpack. Because it basically nullifies everything that sucks about the jetpack. Which is that it's buggy and you take damage for no reason sometimes. Well... Damage as in full damage, because we're going to make some of these. Solar! No, we're not going to make solar. We're going to make... Do, 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 do. Oh, still capitals, still shouting. Long full boots. I believe... I believe these are from the Portal Gun mod, because they're like the things that... What's-her-face wears in Portal. What is her name? Something. Something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the, the kind of the ones that that make you have no full damage, basically. A little bit of full damage, I think, if it's really long. But, okay, I can't take on creepers anymore, clearly. What is wrong with me? Good. So let's just pull it. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so let's take this. And this. This is good, I'm not sure how much... Yeah, we still got a bit left in there, and the house is finished, so that's not bad. So we want to put that... There. Water... There. Now, let's, let's do this correctly. Pull it... Oh, why well, don't I have a shovel? Okay, you go there. Oh, look at that. Where's it gone? There it is. I thought I just lost it there for a second. So we got four obsidian. Uh, the reason we need four is because we need two for each boot. They are really cheap to make. I think they're perhaps too cheap because they basically do just stop all full damage. And they're pretty cheap for that. I'll show you the recipe in just a second. Oh, that's going to bug me, only because I'm going to fall in it. Okay, there we go. I don't even want to look at this chest in here, because it used to be full up so much, so much more. It's just pitiful now. Look at this pathetic amount of stuff. Anyway, we'll take that. Because the recipe is... Oh, no. What? This isn't right. I made them... Has it updated the recipe already? That's not right. What's going on here? Oh, I'm so confused. I made some and they were just six iron and two obsidian. What? When did this change? Did I update the mod pack? Oh. Did I update the mod pack? Damn caps lock. Oh, man. Yeah, they must have changed it. Changed it in like one day. I thought they were too cheap. I said they were too cheap, didn't I? I have not learned from the real hustle. Which is, if it sounds too good to be true, oh, it probably is. Well, that's a bummer. And I'm not wasting my precious, precious diamonds on that. In fact, oh, good. We still have diamonds to make. Alright, we're changing. Scrap that. We're not going to make those. Instead, we're going to do this. We're going to make a diamond drill, uh, which is basically like a diamond pickaxe, but rechargeable. So let's first make a drill. 
Okay. Refined iron. Uh, I'll get all this stuff ready, and I'll come back and we'll make this baby. Okay, I'm back, and also that gave me a chance to have some of my tea. And actually, hang on just a second. Mmm. The tea cheered me up after the horrible crash and loss of lots and lots and lots of stuff. But here we go, we have the stuff ready to make the diamond drill. So, I forgot how it's made already. Battery on the bottom. Battery on the bottom. Try saying that fast five times. There we go, there is the drill. Now let's just surround it in the diamonds. Ah, uh, that's, uh, I've heard that's just a must. That's like a basic you need. If you have FTB, get the diamond drill because it's good. Uh, we might upgrade that later on to the advanced diamond drill because it holds more uh, it holds more power okay so we did something we built something that's all right we'll forget about the long fall boots because oh who needs them anyway really who needs them anyway all right that creeper has been stalking me for ages let's get out of this place let's scram because i want to show you the really cool thing oh no wait Eh, no, let's go this way, actually. Uh, now, I didn't even notice this thing before. It was very well blended in and very well spawned um, in the world. Let's take that. Have I got... Uh, what am I missing? This. We definitely need some armour for this. And we need some torches. We have some. Do we have any more? No. Right, here we go. So, I probably should have done my research actually and, and found out what these are called. But for the time being, we're going to call them just dungeons. They're not, they're not normal Minecraft dungeons. I think they're um. There's a there's a thing in the back of my brain nagging me saying they're called Wisp. Are they called Wisp? I don't know. It's whispering in my ear. But basically, all it is is a mound of dirt with a dungeon underneath and it's right over here um, you can kind of see it on the map if you see it's like a little it's a little bit bulgier <laughs> a little bit bulgier on the landscape just here please load in world come on come on you can do it there we go look look at this thing oh no I don't need feathers no no feathers because no mistcraft go away beauty of the world loaded there we go. So it's a dungeon. And these things are good. These things are good because I, there are so many possibilities we have this thing. Uh, let, let's just try and defeat it first though, shall we? Because there are going to be baddies in here. And we may die. So I should, probably should have put that on. Put the sword on the bar. Get the torches ready. There we go. Load. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Did you see the spawners? Oh, yeah. Okay, there are none of those things. I thought they were evil. Ugh. Oh, he's got a sword. Watch out. I thought they were evil, floaty, magical things in this place, but maybe not. Maybe that's in a different mod pack, because I have been watching the Mind Crack videos, and they do have a different mod pack now. I must remember that. But yeah, look at this. It's got two spawners very, very close together. Look at that. You could easily activate both those spawners. And that means we can make an awesome mob system. It's a little bit... I do find it a little bit cheaty. I don't know why. I just think it's... A, look, I mean, we're going to get tons of stuff from there. We're going to get bones and arrows. And all those... What are those things called? Shards of minium. All that stuff. But yeah. And then, here's my plan. Not just to get loot, but then we can turn the loot into... Well, all this crap, I believe, like rotten flesh, I believe you can make into... Hang on. Can you burn it for gas? That's the thing I was thinking. Can you make this into a power source? Because if so, that is awesome. If not, we can make it into... Uh, this stuff. Scrap. Uh, and then we can make that into this stuff, which is a scrap box. Which uh, randomly gives us an, uh, an item. Just a random item from the game. It could be a piece of dirt or it could be a diamond. Who knows? It's like a lucky dip. So we could make that as well. From We could make an automated system that makes it into the scrap, that makes it into the scrap boxes. And we could just go pick them up 
and and see what we've got. So yeah, that's the plan with these. I think that'd be really, really cool. Not sure how we're going to do that. Probably go down. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. But these dungeons do have loot. So let's see what we got. <gasps> oh, a thalmium. No, thalmium. No, that's right. I did say it right. Sword. A knowledge fragment. Copper. Gold. Oh, oh, baby. Diamonds. Gold. Chest plate. Enchanted book with respiration three in it. That is awesome. We could put that on a uh, on a helmet. And a bronze chest plate. Oh, and a th oh. Yeah, great. <laughs> How do we get out? Here we go. So that's some good stuff. I'll pick that up later. Uh, I'm trying to think back to. Joe, oh, screw it. Why am I why am I not getting it now? What am I doing? Let's just get it now. The diamonds, especially. Oh, baby. I I I. I enchanted some uh, pickaxes to go mining in that wonderful Mistcraft world, and they were good. They were uh, they were nice, nice pickaxes. They were things like uh, I was so close to getting one of the best the best pickaxes in the game. Uh, efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune three. I got fortune two, but it was so close. And then I got silk touch. So that that helped with conserving space. And I didn't. I wasn't sure, but I made an anvil to see if I could repair them. And you can. They were sapphire, not sapphire. Green sapphire uh, tools. Oh my goodness. And I was a bit unsure whether they would be compatible with the anvil. And they are. They are. So that was good. I can't get my own house. I can't get in. Oh, anyway, my, my bed's in here, so that's all right. Oh come on! Look at the creepers. What's going on? Come on, get in, get in. Oh, no, that's typical. I thought it would say that. Ugh. Okay, well, let's have a look at... Uh, let's put these away. Especially the diamonds. Oh, I want to see how powerful the sword is, actually. Let's go do that. Ready? Go. Run. Ready? I I'm hoping for two hits. No. No, oh, it kind of sucks then. This is actually pretty... Four hits? What the hell? Blown up my village? What is that? Oh, it's the lamppost. With the, the, with the glitched out torches. Yeah. Man, the creepers are really getting me into this episode. What is going on? Um, I had so much more to show you, but it's all gone now. I had all these amazing Mistcraft worlds to show you, which were really coolly generated. You had big wooden tendrils and stuff like that, and I'm I'm all depressed and emo now. I just want to <laughs> I just want to go back in time and not make that stupid last world which destroyed me. Um, but I guess we can't do that. We can't turn back time. I was going to start singing there, but I don't think I will. Ooh. Yeah, that stuff. Screw you. So I guess this will have to be a shorter episode than usual. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't really get much done, as in nothing at all. It's mainly been an update one. It's my, this, is, this has been a world tour video, I guess. Oh, I'm going to go cry over all my progress being lost. And I'll probably think of something to do next episode we may start what I wanted to do was what was that idea I had this stuff here oh yes this is gonna be a good good thing to end the episode on because it is awesome now this mod pack now has equivalent exchange and in that we have this thing wait how do you spell it this thing minium stone now uh Hell, we could just make it. We could just make it. Let's make it. Why not? Uh, let's grab that. Oh my god, what are the mobs? 
Why are there so many mobs tonight? I can't even open doors. Oh my goodness. They are out to get me tonight. Look at these craters I'm going to have to clean up. Ugh. So, that thing creates cobble. And the good thing about equivalent exchange is you can, you can exchange blocks for their equivalent value, hence the name. And equivalent blocks for cobblestone, I think, is dirt. Uh, dirt, sand, and one other thing I can't remember. But, uh, oh, I need one. And stone. Oh, we've got stone. This has got me thinking. You could have a glass factory. You could have a glass factory. No, you could have a sandstone factory. This is... My brain was when... Oh, it's like, oh, amazing. All these possibilities. So... Uh, is it this? I forgot this recipe already. I'm so bad at remembering recipes. That's the stone. We need more of this weird stuff. There we go. It looks like hearts. I think it's supposed to be a heart. Let's surround it with this stuff. Ooh, and now this stuff. This. What happens when I equip it? Look at this. Weird. And it shows you what you can uh, exchange things for. And it will take away power, I think. But let's just test this on a piece of cobble. <gasps> what was that? Ready? And again. Oh no, I thought it could be... Oh wait, how do you change it? How do you change it? I know C, you can have a portable craft. No, you can't. Oh, I need to map out my buttons. I think it is C, but that's giving waypoints at the moment. How do you change? I want to go to... Okay, I'll be back in just a second. Let me learn these controls. Okay, I'm back. Had more tea, obviously. Uh, and I think I do need to change the controls, maybe. Or maybe I'm just completely wrong and it's stone and not cobble. Let's try stone. Give me my minium stone, please. Oh no, there we go. Oh, we just need to kind of hover off it. Yeah, look at that. There we go. So, I don't know. I think if you put it in a... Because obviously, I, if we do make an automated factory, um, I can't just stand here and keep doing this. We need to make it automated. But I think if you pull it into a crafting bench with the block, yes, it does. It changes. So you can just put... Say if we get cobble, we can do it once. Twice. We can put it through two automatic crafting benches with these. And these are really quite cheap to make. You get loads of this stuff, really. And then we get, boom, sand. And that goes to dirt, and then that goes back to cobblestone. So it's like a big circle. So that's definitely a possibility. But also, let's just change our controls, because I do want to show you this. Where's C? Yes, here we go. See, look, they're clashing. They're clashing. Pocket crafting table, that's what I want to use. Let's make that P. So now, if I press P, let's not look at that, because I'm, I'm not, now I'm clicking it, but let's look away. Damn. Why does nothing ever look work? Why can't I ever look cool and know what I'm doing? Uh, let's make that O. Now let's try it. Yes, there we go. Look at this. Crafting bench. But I'm nowhere near a crafting bench. Well, I am, but I'm not using it. So, O. Oh. Look at that. Do, do, do. And you can you can just use it, like any other crafting thing. There you go. So it's a portable crafting table. Isn't that amazing? Not really, but it's useful. Okay then, so I think that will probably end it for today's episode. A little bit short, and nothing really happened. But I just wanted to update you on the horrible crash, which ruined everything. And we will just have to keep on trucking. I'll get all the resources back eventually. Ooh, nearly. And, um, yeah, we'll do some stuff. Maybe maybe make that into a proper building, that automated cobble system. And also find a better way of getting power. But I'm rambling now, so I'll end it here. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.